hello again uh, you're watching a tutorial where we'll be doing a couple of things using borders in excel so these are various controls that we have in borders we can set line style we can set color and we can apply borders to uh, various edges and also to the diagonals of cell so i'm just uh, resizing uh, all these cells so that you can visualize it uh, on a uh, broader area so i'm writing a sub procedure let's call it as draw borders and let's say i pick up any cell it's t4 so i want to set a border on this particular cell so for this i'll be using sheet 2 dot range and then i'll be uh, giving the range uh, coordinates here it's d4 and then dot borders and then we need to specify whether we want to apply edge border or whether we want to apply a diagonal border to it so um, we can choose one of these let's say i want to apply a diagonal up border so i'll select this and then uh, uh, after this i need to set various properties like color line style and the width of the border that i'm going to apply so if I choose color index and make it red, so the color index for red is 3. And if I run it, you will see a diagonal border on this cell. Now, if you want to further uh, use more parameters, like uh, if I use line style and then uh, let's say the width of uh, the border, let's see what happens when I apply these. So line style, I'll be using Excel continuous. I don't want uh, dotted lines or any other. So if you want a dotted line, it can be applied from here uh, by changing the line style to Excel dot or Excel dash. In fact, you can make it Excel dash dot or Excel dash dot dot. There are more such uh, uh, values. So you can refer uh, msgn.com for all the possible values of line style. The next one is the weight that we can set for the border. We can make it thick, thin or medium and you will see the difference once you run it. So you will see that here in all these three lines we have uh, repeated sheet 2, d4 and then border this much part of uh, code. So we can uh, eliminate that thing by putting a width block. And inside that width block, we will be just putting the uh, parameters or the properties that we want to change. And it will be applied to uh, that uh, particular selection. So we have uh, kept sheet to range and then dot borders uh, in that width block. And then we just need to specify the properties. So this way also it will do the same thing. Now we have uh, applied this property to D4. If you want to change the range, you can uh, use that entire range where you want to apply this and then it, uh, this is going to work on that range. Now we have plotted diagonal up borders so far. We can also plot diagonal down borders. So for that we just need to add a block here and we need to change it to di uh, diagonal down let's say i change a different color this time i'm making it 8 so it, it is of cyan color uh, now you'll see that all the borders uh, doesn't matter whether it is up or down all uh, all are of uh, cyan color the reason is uh, diagonal up and diagonal down uh, can have only one value of color index so either uh, uh, whatever you uh, do in the end it will set that value so initially it uh, created a diagonal up borders for red color and then we uh, changed it to uh, cyan color that's why all are of that color this rule does not uh, does not apply on edge borders you will see that once we'll be plotting edge borders we can have different color for all the edges Now I'm copying this part again and I'm changing this to uh, edge of let's say left side. 
now see if uh, we again copy it and let's say we want to plot it for right and then top and bottom edges as well so for top we just need to put excel edge top for bottom we just need to put excel edge bottom and for inside uh, uh, of the range we can use excel inside horizontal for horizontal borders and excel inside vertical for vertical borders so for top i am making it as excel edge top and for right uh, we can use excel edge right so the inside borders i kept as three red color now you see the difference uh, it is of different color for right i am using again three it is again of, of different color left i am using cyan it is of cyan color and if i choose any other color index let's say 15 let's see what color pops in it is something like purple But this rule uh, is not going to work on diagonal borders. It will change the color of all the diagonals. So yellow for uh, diagonal up and diagonal down. And this way you can play with it. Now you will notice one thing that again we have a lot of width blocks uh, the only difference is uh, we are uh, repeating width sheet 2 dot range uh, the difference comes after borders and then the parameters that goes as argument so we can eliminate this much part by enclosing it in with an outside uh, width block and keeping everything inside it so like this so width sheet dot range and then specify the range and then nest it with another uh, width block inside that you just use as dot borders and then the argument that you are going to send and close that similarly uh, the next width block will come here and uh, again you need not specify sheet 2 dot range because we have already uh, specified it on the top and we can directly use it here so this is called nesting of width block And this way we can put rest of these. Now when we run this, now let's say I'm gonna run this on a different range, I make it as let's say something uh, in column A, from column D4 till X, so it works like that. So now you, you are seeing another uh, uh, line after G that is because uh, we are not clearing it so uh, let's clear that uh, format on the top or let's uh, create another sub procedure to clear all the borders and just put it there so here uh, we, we are currently clearing everything it may be a formula it may be a value it may be the format or the comments or content uh, but if we specifically want to clear the formats, we can use clear format. We do not have uh, any option to, to directly clear the borders. Uh, but yes, you can set the borders to no border. And that way also you can achieve that thing. So I am adding two buttons. One for draw border and the other for clear. Uh, 
how we can easily call these functions by clicking on these buttons. This is pretty much. If you want to learn more about uh, borders and want to work on real life problem statements, then uh, do share uh, with us at excel.microk at gmail.com. I'll be waiting for your comments and feedback. Thank you.